Turemei. for the evening that God has given us. Let us thank God. Lord, we give you the honor. You are faithful. No one is like you, God. You give us great times like this so that our Lord Jesus Christ he may transform us that we may be good fathers that give portion of descendants. Mana Urimana Ziz. Lord, you are good God. Gidanezu Mupapa was Turihano. Do good to every father. Gidanezi Midian Girihano. Do good to every family. Mana Turakusa Bango, you go on Giruvan and Art. Speak to us this evening. Quacky you give up Gao. We welcome you. Quacky you gummy Gao. We welcome your kingdom. The Kumgara Gao Gio Kuvuga, but nobody were to one at Kumvijui Gao. Let him not be your servant, but let us hear your words. As he gets your trust, Kugaru Kire, and all the glory be yours. Mizina Jesu Christo, in the name of Jesus Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Are you fine? Are you breathing? <laughs> The Lord is good all the time. You have just yeah. Turashimima na kavisa koyonge kudu chirinzira. We thank the Lord for making a way for us. Turasabdim baba zitwa huye nambutea je tu shikadu tebze. We are sorry we came late because of the traffic. Kuri inzira jenda gu chariho ambutea je nishchan. This traffic coming from our our home there is. A traffic in that road. Yeah, and I kandi ku rekat no jere shimima na kugaba bze yikutkuizera. Let me thank again uh, our parents to trust us. And shimima na kugaba shumba wa kozibi ma na wa servant wa kozibi ma na mwezi mu korani nga. The pastors, the servants of God who are in our midst. Buri munhuwe se mchuba hiro chivi ma ni bahu mujisha. In all your due respect, may God bless you. And thanking the Lord for the for the baby that the Lord gave to this couple. If the Lord did it for them, He is able to do it for you as well this evening. He does not show favoritism. That is what I know of Him. You can meet Him this evening properly. This evening can be a, an evening of history. And all, and he wipes away all your tears. And that is what's going to happen and that's what's happening. Receive it. There is something, there is a prayer request you have for long. You cried and it didn't go through. But I want to tell you that this is the time. This is the time in the name of Jesus. The Bible says your tears, he shall remember it as water that flew. When water is flowing, it's not the same as blood. Where, where water has flown, you do not recognize it after some wine. So your sorrow, you will forget it and never remember it again. But when blood flows, at times it, it stains. I again say that your sorrow, he will remember it as water that flew. May the Lord bless you. Let's go on. Uh, we thank the Lord. Who was here yesterday? Yes. You did well to come back. You know, feeding people and, no, and lack people to eat, it is really a misfortune. 
If you came back then, the Lord cooked well. Because a restaurant that cooks well does not lack clients. Amen. And the Holy Spirit knows how to cook it well, to grill it well. I like saying a lot of things before I go into the Word. That's my issue. <laughs> And I exercise myself not to do it again, but I don't know what happened. But I always pray that the Lord may give me to be who I am. Being who I'm not is what I don't want. I want to put things in place. Body <laughs> na conclusion. and have an introduction, a body and a conclusion. I go as Francis does it. <laughs> and and um, <laughs> but I can't do it as he does it. <laughs> I tried to, to put it in place as Pastor Bishai does. <laughs> he built something as an engineer. And then I say, Lord, I put up my hands, even I can't do it as a Bishai does. I once had a dream. I once had a dream that Pastor Bishai had gave me his pants. But the pants of Pastor Bishai were very wide. <laughs> that I entered, I wore it. But it was really big on me. It was really big on me. <laughs> it's as if those people who enter into circles jumping up. <laughs> I even told him that I could not, your pants couldn't fit me. I will not, I will never wear it again. So now I chose to be who I am. And that is good for you as well. Do not wish to be who you are not. Because you have a particularity. Don't be what the people want you to be. Be the one that the Lord wants you to be. That's, the, that's when the beauty will flow upon you and life. Isn't it? Please stand up. Please let us stand up and call onto the Holy Spirit to enable us. The Bible says whenever the Spirit comes, the first thing is going to do is teach you all things. Even what they didn't teach you at school, the Holy Spirit teaches you. Let us call on to him to tell him to teach us. I plead with you to call on to him this and evening. And pray for me as well so that I can speak what I ought to. Our Lord God in heaven, we thank you for this special evening. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to gather we give you all the glory Holy Spirit enable me enable my mouth you came and we are together you are within me Holy Spirit my best friend please help me enable me to deliver as you want me to Holy Spirit glorify Jesus tonight thank you Holy Spirit take hold of my mouth take hold of my tongue take hold of my thoughts take hold of my heart enable me in everything let, let it glorify you Lord Jesus make thyself a great name tonight 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we have prayed and believed. Amen. 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 Yesterday, people told me that one of them were blessed uh, on the decoder thing. Of course, when we preach the gospel, at, at times you pick in your, your, what blessed you. There is another person who told me that they were blessed through the much story I gave you. When, you, when I give you uh, stories about ma football matches, I don't want to train you to love football. I want to train you to love God and your There are journalists about uh, matches or games they are going to train you better than I will do. I used to like games a lot. And I asked God to deliver me. Because I want God to hold the first place in my heart. And God really delivered me but when I, I watch it I do not I watch it for real all the, the, the story about the players from their mothers the families I knew about or everything about them but today I got to know Jesus better and I got to know his siblings one, a time, one day they invited a person and said we have a special guest a preacher please come when that person came he talked about Jesus and his siblings and, and said please bear with him that's not the way he usually does it and then said I was actually blessed because I didn't know Jesus had siblings I thought he was his own he was a, what blesses you doesn't I want to inform you that you're going to be blessed. Michael Owen. A man called Michael Owen. He was a player of Liverpool. He played for Liverpool. From 65 to 2004. Uh, he played also for Real Madrid. He also played for Manchester United. And Newcastle United as well. And there is also another team that he played for. He said something about his parents. Listen to what he said. Listen. My motivation was to please my dad. He was and still is my hero. Putting in a good tackle, 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 nyene mu. Gutero mujeri neza. Mu muhama shirgo se ne urumba. They don't, we all don't go to the stadium. Making a nice pass. Yes. Yes. Or scoring a great goal meant nothing in isolation. Taking a sneak peek 
ariko kurebaho kurunguruka behind the goal to where dad was standing inyuma yizamu nkabona aho papa wange yarahagaze and being acknowledged by a nod nkabona azunguza umutwe andeba or a wink cyangwa sakanyicira kajisho of approval a a a ye anyereka ko mbikoze neza meant the world nicyo cyari gifita gaciro kuri ngewe Ura urumva gaciro ku mupapa ku muntu. You you feel the value of a father on to a person. Umu papa ni role model. A father is a role model. Kuri Michael Owen, on Michael Owen, ari kuri stad when he was at the stadium. Utsinda gitsinda nubwo ari gitsinda abantu bakishima ariko papa we yishimye byasigore byasobanura ikintu kinini cyane. Putting in a goal meant a lot on him when his father approved it. Kubera gaciro ku mupapa because of the value he had for his father. I want to inform you you father that you have a value in your family. You have the ability to change your kids into heroes. You have the ability to give an identity to your kids and they become special people. We saw it yesterday on David when he wa- he had to die he called Solomon and told him the ways forward for him to be a man he said follow the decrees and commands of the Lord go obey the ways of God obey God take the word that's when you will become a real man and you will fulfill what the Lord has said upon you do you know that there are promises that the Lord gave us as fathers that are going to be fulfilled upon our children you are the one who's going to fulfill it our children are the people who are yet to fulfill what the Lord has said upon us that's why with God if we miss it to make it to make them men there are promises that are not going to get fulfilled for example for that we have the reason through the help of the Holy Spirit and the word of God to make them real men so that the fulfillment of our promises to be fulfilled through them I would like to tell you something else you may be a father here without a child and probably God told you that you're not going to um, have a child give birth to a child but there is no time the Lord created man to be alone to be for himself to live for himself the Lord created us to serve others Paul didn't have a wife but he had spiritual children Tito and Timothy even though you may not have biological kids they are children that the Lord are going to bring you away so that you may channel their way for them to be men and the Lord is going to register them unto you that because that will be a generation that you have changed and transformed let us read the word of God Psalms 102 Psalms Hallelujah Praise the Lord It starts by praising God Hallelujah Praise the Lord Hallelujah blessed are those who fear the Lord those who fear the Lord by the way I would like to tell you something if you're saved truly having met Christ as your Lord and Savior 
without walking into integrity obeying God and your family not being built on Christ properly your life not being rooted or built on Christ I want to tell you that even though people may see you as a good man you are not fine at all because you are not blessed at all some people see you as if you are in a good state but you are not in reality Isaiah 3.10 says that the righteous shall be well. You cannot be well unless you have the fruits of, of righteousness. Yes, you are righteous but you go on you do bad things. Your family is not built on two good things. If you are a woman, a wife who's here, and you do not submit to your husband, I want to tell you that you will not be well at all. Because the Lord said, wives, be submitted to your husband. If you are a man who's here, and you do not love your wife, I want to tell you that you shall not be prosperous, shall not be good you cannot do something that's contrary unto the word of God yet you are righteous man and be well hallelujah Amen. Are, are you listening to what we are saying? If you are a Christian and you are doing something that's contrary to the fruit of righteousness, you are not well at all. Praise be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who finds great delight in his commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Let me see the people whose, whose hands will be upright in oh, the generation. Say my generation shall be upright in this world. There is nothing that rejoices my heart I as this promise. I always claim it day and night. I say this promise and tell the Lord you have said it. That my children will be mighty in the land. I suppose that no one does not want their children to be mighty in the land. And the generation of the upright will be blessed. I want to tell you just be upright unto God. Goodness and favor shall follow you every day of your life. That is your promise. The family of the upright shall be blessed. Let's go on. Wealth and riches are in their house. And their righteousness endures forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Six. Surely the righteous will never be shaken. The righteous shall be remembered forever. A lot of people like to be built statues in this world. There is a remembrance that righteous people will be The righteous shall be remembered forever. Praise be to God. These Psalms is a good one. It says the value of a man, a righteous man. And says the reward that the Lord is going to grant him. Because of obeying the Lord God. And says how it's going to be. Says his children shall be mighty in the land.
Hallelujah. Amen. Ari gihe nigeze kugira madam. One day I once told my wife. Ndabungira madam hari byaha ndeka gukora kubera yuko I told him I told her there are sins that I stopped doing not because I obeyed they are sins that I don't do for my children not to be victims so that they may receive what they ought to receive because if I obey the Lord my, my children shall have benefits in other words I am investing so that for the well-being of my children. Righteousness is not your own. You are doing it also for the for the offsprings. And again, those offsprings shall go with your name. There will be monuments that walk showing your name. They will look at them and say their father was a righteous man. Because if the Lord uprights them, they will show on your name. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, I would like to tell you something. Today, I'm not going to speak much. I want to tell you one thing if you're a righteous person. I want to encourage you for righteousness. I want to encourage you to have the fruit of righteousness. There is a blessing that will come upon you and also for your generation to come. And I want to tell you the truth. You will see it here on earth when you're still alive. And if even after your death, your children shall continue seeing the goodness of God through your life. Is Christian around? He didn't come. The father of Christian was a righteous man. He was a prayerful and intercessor. Because, uh, even when he died he, he, he went around the, the, the hospital and when the doctors came to treat him they found him dead when I see Christian worshipping here in front and say Christian is really anointed I, I say to myself you guys do not know where I came from the children of the, children of the upright shall have there are gifts that the Lord pours on two children of God. And see that the word that the Lord said is reality upon their lives. Praise be to God. This evening, I want to remind you one thing. If there are things that you're doing that are not right, stop everything. And seek to go to walk with the Lord uprightly. Because there is a positive benefit from it. In the United States of America, they compared two people who were living in the city of New York and compare the righteous man who was a servant of God with a, a, a drunkard person who was still in the city. So they compared them through five generations. 
Then they saw the generations that came after them how it was. They took a man called Jonathan Edwards. Those who studied literature, they know him. Jonathan Edwards Edward was a servant of God. And, to, and took also Max Drews. And then compared them through five generations. Listen to the family of Jonathan Edwards. Had one vice president of America. And had 13 leaders of the university. And had a hundred lawyers. Judges. 30 judges. And 65 doctors. Senators. Sen three senators, three governors, 800 of them who were working in government institutions, 300 of them were servants of God, 75 good soldiers, literates, uh, 60. Those were from the, the servant of God. Listen to the generation of the drunkard person. Murderers, seven murderers. Seven, Sixty thieves. Ninety prostitutes. 150 who were convicted. Yes, convicted. Convicted. 300 of ten, 310 poor, poor people. 400 who were drunkard people. And 300 died prematurely. Premature death. When they compared, his generation took the money of the, the, the government. One, one million. That, 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 that's the money they took from the government. <laughs> Taking these two generations, these two families, the family of the servant of God, and the family of the, the pagan, who, who wishes to give birth to prostitutes, who wishes to give birth to thieves, who wishes to give birth to poor people, who wishes to, to, to give birth to people who rape people. The family of Jonathan gave into what they, they gained onto the government. But even these people really um, met the government. The family of the righteous shall be blessed in the land. The family of the righteous shall be blessed in the land. Tell the person you're seated with that the family of a righteous shall be blessed in the land. Your family shall be blessed in this world. My friend, I want to tell you something. If I was you, I would say a big amen. Your family shall be blessed in this land. If you get a revelation of the value of having a good family, the value of having a righteous father, I tell you the truth, you can change your mindset. You can change your conduct. Sometimes I say, My children ought to be blessed in this land. 
There is one word that my children know of. Those who, who are intelligent know of it. John 3. John 3, 4. John 3, 4, English says, how can someone be born when they're old? No, no, uh, three, uh, said John, said John ah. 4. Third. Okay. Third John, John 3, 4. John 3, 4, and it says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Even my younger child knows that word. Amen. Even my younger children know of that word. By the way, for Katia to do it for me to put up that word in my living room. Please put those words in the rooms of your children. When we go in the morning, I tell them, repeat the word at home. Daddy, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in truth. Ezra knows to recite this verse. Nacha nerumune zero waruta uokumva kwa wana wanje wa jendera mukuri. Kuko nerewa kwa wana wanje. Because I told them my children. Nima jendera mukuri. If you walk in the truth. Nachi nukuri yisi chiza muzobura mubuzi mabga. There is nothing greater in this world that you will lack. Nachi nukuri yisi muzobura kuhisi. You will not lack anything in this world. Bebirewa mumuchira nusina za ajiri chiza chena. The word. The word of God says the righteous shall lack nothing. Praise be to God. Even in the morning when we go to school, I tell them the Ten Commandments of the Lord. My friend, this time I'm learning the Bible not for my own sake, but for my children. Because the Bible calls us coaches. Says, lead your child into the good way. He shall be so then I, I learn it so that I can train my children in it. When we go at school in the morning, I tell them, repeat, recite the Ten Commandments. Do not worship any other God. Do not pray idols. Do not talk of the word of the name of the Lord. of the... Till the, the last commandment. And then I tell them on the on our Father who is in heaven. Pray. They all know of it. Repeat, our Father who art in heaven. Do not be like those who are afraid to pray that prayer. And then we go on learning. And then I tell them, repeat Psalm 73. You put How can you teach your children yet you do not know 
No hamagara umuntu hamugira nti vuga ibwire itegeko rya gatano. If I call a person and tell them say the fifth commandment people might really shiver. Reka mvundurure urabe. Levile. Reka mvundurure. Levi choose. Are prenez une feuille interrogation non avec. Take a sheet of paper. Ja. Mwebwe nta kindi mukuye mukuye non averti kabisa. You you really have to be given a quick quiz. Ni ni kama teje ko imana for your children. Read no learn the commandments of the Lord for your children. Uzatoza na utatojwe. How can you train yet you are not trained? Nikute watoza bandi na utatojwe. How can you train yet you are yourself you're not trained? Kuko aya mategeko niyo twasonejo yagize Dawidi niyo yaraze Solomon. Those are the commandments that uh, David inherited from his son Solomon. Aya mategeko niyo azagira abana bacha bagabo abagabo nyabagabo. These are the commandments that will give manhood to our children. Siva kwa Bwana. Praise be to God. Siko bimeze. Isn't it? Genda wigi jambo ry'Imana nutayigira gigira abana bawe. Learn the word of God even if it's not for your sake but for your children's sake. By the way, murabeze ko bibiri twita yavuze ko twebwe dutegereza kwigisha abana bacu. Do you know that the Bible calls us to teach our our kids? So ma Deuteronomy bice bitandatu murongo windwe. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy bice bitandatu. Gutegeka kwa kabiri cyo bitandatu murongo windwe. Deuteronomy 6. Deuteronomy bice bitandatu murongo windwe. 6 verse 7 We ought to be professors especially fathers The funny thing and the misfortune thing is that mothers no more of And mothers uh, girls wish to marry men who know better than them <laughs> I can't wish for a man who is under than How can a girl know the word better than you do? Don't worry about that. Impress them. Children. Talk about them when you sit at your home. And when you walk. When you lie down and when you get up. But some, for you, you wake up and wake up on WhatsApp. WhatsApp is on your hand. Your phone has you have your phone on your pillow. I'm going to pray for you so that your sockets in the, the, in the room, so that you may charge your phones in the living room. You charge your phone at night and wake up when it's fully charged. <laughs> We're going, going to pray for that regularly so that you may wake up on the commandments of the Lord. Praise be to God. Impress them with your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. But Papa, study the word of God not for your for you only, but for your children. Fathers, nigi jambori jima na tadi kubgani yugu sahugo kubgawa na bani. Yes, I'm going to tell you that I'm not going to be a man. I'm a man of God. Isaiah 65 says our God is a true God. John says the Lord is the truth and the way and the life. John 14 says the Spirit is a Spirit of truth. 
Paul wrote to Timothy and said this is the word of truth and then told Timothy that the church is a foundation our Lord is the word of God is a truth the word the church is a foundation and the enemy will, will inspire our kids onto other truths. Satan will give them other information. Study the word of God for your children. If you want to have a generation that is, that is strong, praise be to God. Amen. That is what will make our families be strong. Built onto the true word of God. Our time is gone. How can we get a revelation of a man, of a husband? Father. The first thing that will enable you to have a revelation on a father. We said it yesterday, know very well that a man, a father, is an image of God here on earth. Secondly, he's the image of Christ in the in the world. And we also said what the, the father inherits. The gift that the Lord gave him. Leadership. Uh, identity. Giving identity. Gutanga sense of family. Giving a sense of a family. Kuba role model. Being a role model. If you have Those gifts the Lord had given it to us as fathers so that we may give it on to our families. And again, I encourage you fathers that are here come and let us take care of our families uh, young men who are here you are also the, the fathers of tomorrow have a sense of family mothers who are here fight for your families Timothy had a faith that came from his grandmother and the mother Lois if the father is not doing his duty as he ought to there is what the Lord can enable you to do in your family Hallelujah. Amen. So that if we get to the time of God coming back, we will not regret. One wise man, when he was about to die, he said this thing. Listen to what he said. I would love my spouse more in front of my children. They asked him if you were to redo life, what would you do? Listen to what he said. I would love my spouse more in front of my children. Tell your children, tell your wife that you love her. Praise her in front of your children. Secondly, I would laugh with my children at our mistakes and joys. Thirdly, I would listen more even to the youngest child. Fourth, I would be more honest about my weaknesses and stop pretending perfection. Yes, yeah. yeah.
Tabani. Koroha. Koroha mo. Akanukoroshe? Yes, take it, take it. Take it, take it. Muka wera ra hishura kamis. The Holy Spirit reveals. We are in the year of revelation. And again, I would pray differently for my family. I would pray really for my family. Instead of focusing on them and their faults, I would focus more on my own faults. I would be more in, I would do more things with our children. Again, I would be more encouraging and bestow more praise on my wife. I would I would pay more attention to the little things, deeds, and words of loving kindness. Ichindi, I would share God more intimately with my children using every ordinary day, uh, day thing. Ichindi, no sanji, abana banje, naba sanji za inguru, I tell my kids stories about God. Teach Hallelujah. them of God. Praise be to God. There is some, is, did you catch something? Even though you didn't laugh a lot, did you catch something? The value of a father is the image of God in a family. I will not repeat it. He is a role model. A father is really valuable. He is a trainer. He is a teacher. Fathers from today, let us teach our kids. Let us stand and pray. Repeat with me, Father God. My Lord God, I thank you. You are a good God. Whom after, who's called after all families. This evening, I pray for my family. Lord, give me a strong family in this world. I thank you, Lord. I say that my family. Bless it. Me and my household shall serve the Lord God. Satan. Satan. My family is called after the God whom all families are called after. I tell you to remove your fears. We will not die, we shall live. We shall not die prematurely in the name of Jesus. We will know our God and be strong and do wonders. Me and my family, we will be strong and perform wonders because our God is a faithful God to accomplish it. He will do. Lord, we thank you. Make me a valuable person in my family. Make me an effective person in my family. Thank you. All the glory and thanks for now and forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those who have strong families say Amen. Amen.